All right, here's a little video showing you how to control how, uh, what values are used to position elements in Google Web Designer, okay? So um, I'm just going to start by creating an element here, all right? I'll give it a little background color, and you'll see that as I move this element around, um, notice that the, it's using position absolute, which is cool, and the left and top properties are being set. So when I move it up here, there's its left, there's its top, okay? Now, we had a user who wants to animate these things using transforms like translate x, translate y, um, and they were having an issue because they wanted to plug in some absolute values, but since left and top were already being set, they would always have to keep that offset in mind when figuring out their translation values, okay? So what I've come across is a little solution here. Um, I can take this element and I'm going to set its left and top to be zero and zero. Okay, so now my left and top are zeroed out, which is pretty cool. And then I'm also going to take um, this 3D object translate tool and now move it over here. So when I do that, you will see that the left and top are still zero, um, but we're creating the styles for the WebKit transforms um, right here, okay? So left and top are zero, zero, and you'll see that the values for X and Y are baked into this translate 3D function, okay? Um, another way, I think that's probably the best way, um, but let me get rid of this guy here. Let me draw another one, okay? I'll give it a color. And again, I'm going to first zero out these guys. So you may just be able to write a style that selects everything and zeroes out its left and top for you. Um, but that aside, let me say now that I'm going to go to the 3D position and view. And if I just take this, oh, that's a great little UI jump there. If I take this value here, and I thought if I clicked on it, okay, so now I can move the object around. Now, when I select, whoops, and drag it, excuse me, even with this tool here, as I'm moving it around, notice that the left and top are still locked at zero, um, but whenever I move it, we're locked into the transforms there, okay? So, hopefully that helps, and yeah, I guess... Ultimately, it would be nice if there was an option to never use left and top for positioning baked into GWD, but don't know if that's going to happen. Alrighty, bye-bye.